Well, I'm joined now by someone who knows all about payday loans, John Lamady, the chief executive of the Consumer Finance Association. John, can you explain first of all, the Consumer Finance Association, uh, you represent most of the payday loan industry, do you not? We represent uh, the larger payday lenders in the UK, not all of them, but we reckon we represent about 70% of the loan market in this particular industry. Oh, obviously from your point of view it's a very good thing that this is a big and growing industry. How though can you justify your members charging such enormous APRs of 2,500% and more? Well, you don't charge an APR, do you? You charge the interest on a loan or a fee for the loan. And one of the things that the government, through the Office of Fair Trading that regulates us, has identified is that APR doesn't really tell you anything when it comes to a small, short-term loan. APR is designed for traditional loans, long-term loans, mortgages, that sort of thing. So if you try and measure something on an annual basis, when it's very short, you get a silly figure. So I stayed in the hotel the other night, and they didn't tell me that the cost for that hotel was £3,650 a year. They told me it was £100 a night. Why then is the APR given in all your literature, 